Hi, it's Gabby and Sarah. We're from Barco and we're back again with the National Wedding Show series. We're going to bring it onto the floor now and we're going to take some exercises to help give you the ultimate bridal body on the lead up to your big day. The first thing we're going to come into is our thigh surprise. So Sarah, if you just pop your feet in towards, uh, knees in towards a small V position, feet together at the back. From here, pop your hands on towards your waistline. Lift the seat off the floor. From here, we're going to drop the seat towards the heels and then lift straight back up. So keep dropping the seat down and lifting back up. As you squeeze the seat down towards the heels, think about drawing that waistline in nice and tight. Lift straight back up. Now drop the heels down, squeeze them down, lift straight back up. Just go three of these so we hold, lift straight back up. Just go two more, drop it down. Now last one, I want you to hold the seat just above the heels. From here, go tiny tucks of the pelvis. We go tuck, go tuck. So this is focusing on lengthening the thigh muscles as well as getting into our lower abdominal section. So keep tucking the hips, go tuck, tiny tucks up. Now the hips are going to go to the right hand side, rock right, rock left. We go rock right, rock left. So keep tucking the hips on the diagonal and getting into each of our thigh muscles. This is really great for creating lean, long quadricep muscles. Just go four, four to centre. Just go three, four, two. Now last one, hips go centre, go centre, go centre. Tuck those hips centre, go centre. Now go ahead, shoot the right hand high. Left hand high, take the torso backwards. The hands over the head helps to get that heart rate nice and high. Ten, then you're out. Ten, go nine, go eight, then you're out, go seven. Go six more, just five, you're out in four, in three, in two, in one, and release, well done. We're going to bring it up off the floor and into our wide second. So Sarah's going to take a wide second with her feet and PA down through the knees. Knees need to track directly over the top of the toes. We're going to bring our hands in towards a prayer position, rolling the shoulders down and pushing the palms together whilst engaging our abdominal muscles. From here, we just go drop and hold, go drop and hold. So we just go drop and hold. Every time you drop the seat down towards the floor, think about pushing against something really heavy. Just go three, drop and hold. Just go two, drop, hold. Last one I want you to hold here. From here, take your right foot on towards a high stiletto, so heel off the floor. Twist round towards your right hand side and take tiny wraps back. Go wrap back with the elbows. Go wrap back. Now this is really great for your waistline again, helping to actively trim down that waistline. Just go four to we hold. Just go three. Go two. Now last one I want you to hold here and take tiny presses. Drop. Go drop. Go drop. This is a really great exercise for lengthening out our thighs and helping to tone those hamstrings as well. Just go three here. Go two. Now last one, come back through centre. Drop the right heel down. I want you to lift the heels, then drop the heels. Go lift the heels. Drop Drop the heels, perfect. This is working on your balance and your core strength as well. Go two, lift the heels, drop the heels. Last one, lift them up, drop them down. From here, left heel high. Twist towards your left hand side. Again, tiny wraps back, tiny wraps back. This is getting in towards your left oblique. Helping to trim down that waistline. Just go for three, go for two. Now last one, I want you to hold it here. Take tiny presses down, go drop. Go drop. Now push as low as you can and try to find a shake and a tremble. Just go for four to centre. Go three, four, two. Nice. Last one, come back through centre. And then press both heels high off the floor. Sink down. Option right hand comes up. Option left hand comes up. Now take tiny presses down. Press drop. Press drop. Now this is the important part of the workout. I want you to find that shake and the tremble. As soon as you've found that shake, that's when you'll trigger a metabolic response in your body and it'll help to speed up your metabolism so you'll burn fat all day long and all night long, even when you're resting. Just go eight, then you're out. Just go seven, four, six, get even lower. Just go five, four, four. Yes, Sarah, go three, then you're out. Go two and one and release that. Join us for Bar Court, where change happens. We're going to come in towards our hip section now. So we're going to do four lots of 20 seconds. This is really, really great for bringing your heart rate up, getting into the calorie burning zone, and it's great method in bar court. So the first thing we're going to do is our hip section. Our first thing is our fast feet. So I want you to bring your elbows in towards your waistline, eye line focuses down, and we're going to run the feet as fast as we possibly can on the floor. 20 seconds of this. Join me in four, in three, in two, in one. Go run the feet on towards the floor as fast as you possibly can. Now you need to commit 100% to this exercise to get 100% results. So just 
keep going, keep breathing, inhale, exhale as fast as you possibly can. We're going to take this for another five more seconds. Just go for four more seconds, three, just go faster, go two and one. Well done, breathe there, have a ten second breather. The next thing we'll do is jump in first. So hands draw on towards the waistline, legs come in towards the first position, just a small V. Take a plie of the knees and then jump up towards the ceiling as high as you can. Point the toes down, extend the legs. Modification, take a nice deep plie. 20 seconds of this, we go in four, in three, in two, in one. So jump as high as you can for 20 seconds. Now I want you to make sure the knees track over the top of the toes, jump up towards the ceiling and get that heart rate high. The higher you get that heart rate, the more calories you'll burn. So jump as high as you can, nice Sarah. Just go higher, keep pressing up towards the ceiling, well done, just go three more seconds, just go two and one, well done, break there. 10 second breather, inhale, exhale. The next thing you're gonna do is take a leg lift a leg lift, jump forward, back, leg lift, leg lift, jump forward, back, modification, I want you to keep picking up those legs as high as you can, 20 seconds of this, we go in four, in three, in two, in one, so go leg lift, leg lift, jump forward, back, now take this as fast as you possibly can, remember the aim of the game is to get the heart rate as high as you possibly can, nice Sarah, go forward, back, faster, lift those legs, jump forward, back, well done, lift those legs, jump forward, back, keep going, inhale, exhale, get that oxygen around the body, just go three more seconds, just go two, and one, break there, well done. Next thing you're going to do, the final thing in this hit, in this cycle is your star jump. So jump out towards the side, star jump. So modification, I want you to take a nice deep plie, send the knees over the top of the toes. We go in four seconds, in three, in two, in one. So your star jumps out as fast as you possibly can. Well done, Sarah, nice. Press those arms as high as you can. Remember, get that heart rate up. Give me 100% and you'll get your best results. Keep going, inhale, exhale, nice, Sarah, get higher. Push that heart rate higher. We just go for another five more seconds, jump higher, nice, go three, then you're out, go two, and one, well done, break there, well done, Sarah. Repeat that four times through and you'll get an eight minute workout. Have fun. So now you've got your ultimate bridal body. Thanks for joining us with the National Wedding Show Series. Come and see us in Manchester here at Barcourt. We'll give you more tips and advice on how to get that amazing bridal body. I'll see you all soon. Happy working out.